Hello students, welcome to our today's class. Or in this today's class, we are going to focus on the best books in chemistry. So if you want to study chemistry, first you need to divide chemistry into three main parts. They are first one inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry. In these three parts, first if you take inorganic chemistry, in this inorganic chemistry, mainly three reference books are there. Where he is coming to the organic chemistry. Organic chemistry has 10 reference books are there. Next, uh, physical chemistry. It has eight reference books. Total, there are 21 books for chemistry. But we won't learn about all those books. Just the books which are user friendly that means easy to understand and more applications that books we are going to focus okay in this session out of 21 books here we have listed certain important books which are useful to the students in their competitive examination so Coming to the point of view, here every student who are going to write or who are going to learn chemistry, definitely they should have NCRT textbooks. So here with NCRT textbook, it's a better to buy Modern's ABC Chemistry. So the, there are four volumes of Modern's ABC Chemistry. In this Modern's ABC Chemistry, they explain in detail concepts about all ncrt textbook concepts are explained in detail manner so that's why with the uh, ncrt textbooks it's a better to buy this moderns abc chemistry so after the advice if you take this uh, inorganic chemistry so inorganic chemistry generally now all competitive examinations like je and uh, neat ncrt textbooks are enough but while going to write advanced level exams it's a better to follow or it's a better to go through the jd lee so here there is a I mean extension of the ncrt and clear cut explanation is given in detail explanation about inorganic chemistry so it is coming to the organic chemistry so organic chemistry many books are there we have seen but in those books here morrison and boyd book is best book and it is giving clear cut explanation theoretical explanation and practical explanation also and whereas next coming to the op tandon op tandon also student level it's good and it is giving clarity to in the concepts and it has given some objective questions at the end of the chapter so this op tandon also suggestible and whereas coming to the physical chemistry physical chemistry is totally numericals and problems mean nothing but applications more applications we can see in the physical chemistry so if you want to understand first uh, if you want to do the numericals first you need to understand uh, what concepts concepts understanding point of view op tandon is enough for a physical chemistry and whereas coming to the numericals numerical chemistry you need to refer p bahadur that's one book and whereas you can you can buy one more book like uh, rc mukherjee these books are best books are nothing but a, a student friendly books in chemistry including with these books including these books you need to buy or you need to maintain any other mcq materials and previous years question papers if you solve these previous years and additional mcq material definitely you can crack the objective examinations whatever it is either je or advance thank you